What's up guys? Uh, today we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to make an ISO ISO file of anything you want. So basically uh, uh, ISO file so you can boot up uh, virtual machines or anything like that. So how to create an ISO file from a disk. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we're gonna go to is your browser and we're in my case I have a Google so I'm gonna type in ISO recorder. So as a recorder we get there and we're gonna click on the first link as a recorder now once you get to this page it's important that um, um, that you see all these options so Windows obviously you're running Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 in this case uh, you can go ahead and download this Windows 7 ISO it, this basically works for Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 32-bit or 64-bit just for premises I can show you I am running Windows 8.1 right here as you guys can see uh, this is my Windows 8.1 machine uh, also just for uh, laughs and giggles I'm gonna put up the my system tab uh, which is right here basically you can see that 64-bit operating system Windows 8.1 Pro okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna pick up uh, sorry I forgot that I'm gonna show you what version you need to download first thing once you get into your once you go and type in system on your start or search this window should pop up and right here it will tell you it's a 64-bit or 32-bit OS so basically we're gonna we're gonna take that and we're gonna look at which one of us which is it's gonna match so mine is 64-bit so I'm gonna download 64-bit and obviously I have downloaded it once I do that um, let's hold on a second I'm gonna uninstall I already have it installed so I'm gonna remove it for now and uh, once it does that then I'll uh, I'll show you how to install it so again I'm gonna download it again just for fun uh, here I double click on it then we basically go next and here's where it's gonna install C program file Alex and I also record it obviously this is personal preference if you want everybody to use it or just your user account uh, but in my case I don't care who uses it so next next and yes so and yeah just go ahead and give close it and just close this so this was the first part of how to do it so now um, I'm gonna make a follow a follow-up video that how to create an ISO okay so that's it for now guys uh, make sure you like uh, and subscribe for more videos and I'm gonna come out with part two here in, uh, in about 20 minutes Alright, thank you guys. Thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you.